Hey guys, let's have some domino roaches. Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button. These are what we're housing today. Four beautiful big boxes of Domino Roaches. Now, this is just vermiculite and some cocoa fibre and I'm going to add some more in because they do like to burrow. Mixing that up. There we go. Looking good. Now, these roaches are found in India on forest floors. So I kind of want to replicate that if possible. This is the lid that I'm using on this 80 litre box. I just put some organza on it and, you know, made it breathable for them. But so they can't escape. I don't know if they can climb very well. I'm not sure. I am going to put a layer of Vaseline around here. Just, I know it's a bit messy, but it just stops them escaping and my husband complaining. So I, I bought this little house some while ago from B&M's. So we're going to use this. Here's a little garden, a little garden thing that you'd use. I got it for some enclosures, so why not for these guys? Next up we have some rocks and stuff like that which I have washed and sterilised and all that jazz. I'm also going to provide them with some hidey places. Now in addition to all this I did add some half plant pots just to give them some extra places to hide until I get my hands on some more cork bark. So yeah. But they've got a good little start of hide going as you'll see. Now this is me mixing in my first colony which I have, super cute, which made me decide I wanted more. So I took the cork bark out of my current colony and we are adding these guys, four boxes of Domino Roaches. Perfect. So let's get started then. So this one's already been opened. I will be selling these on my store guys, on my shop. So look out for them. And ignore the high on my fingers. My daughter got loose with a pen and we did that whole this is Teddy TikTok thing. So yeah. But these were packed very very well and now it's just a case of getting all these guys into the box now these roaches are a crepuscular species which means they are active at midnight that's what crepuscular means anyways um so they are very nocturnal and they do come out obviously when everything's quiet and everything's dark but they are quite quite active little things and I really really like them which is why obviously I got a big box of them now so this is a sub adult absolutely gorgeous they are cute as they are oops they are cute as they are and there is an Uthika in here which I'm quite pleased to say that there's Uthikas in these pots this is what the females lay. So let's sprinkle that in. Now, I'm not going to bore you by obviously pouring out loads and getting them one by one and things like that. So I will be back once they are all in here. Sorry to interrupt, guys, but it is time for the pack and peanut of love. This week, head on over to Cotswold Crawlers. They are my packing peanut of love this week. And their link is in the description down below. He's a great guy and he has a lot of knowledge. And there we go. Look at them all.
Look at that. Now they will use the hides and the cork bark for humidity and things out. They need sprayed down once a week. Just once a week for these guys. They like it fairly dry. And look how cute they are. Now this is a sub adult. I don't know whether male or female. It's hard to say at this point if anybody knows how I can tell. Let me know down below. I know how to determine once they're adults, but I don't think you can beforehand. I'm not sure. Oops. Back up you get, little buddy. But they are lovely little roaches. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Just not having a good day, are you? Now this I found in my smaller colony, which I've now added here. And this is a malt from a subadult roach. So as you can see, yep, they, they malt, obviously, roaches do. And this beautiful one came out of said malt. Look at that. Now I think this is a male because the females tend to be a bit chunkier and they have a bigger underside. I think I don't know if some somebody grab Phil and ask him but yeah so normally they have six to seven spots on and ah oh, they're just so pretty they, their wings look like velvet they don't fly I've never seen them fly or attempt to fly but them wings look like velvet they are just absolutely beautiful Look at them all just running around. I've put them some food in. And now, of course, it wouldn't be a forest floor without some leaf litter. Now, this was gathered on this day. And it has been boiled and dried in the oven to get any nasties off. I do live in a big, like, wooded area. Well, there's a big wooded area close by. Which is where I gather a lot of my stuff for my inverts. And then I just sterilise it and store it. I think they're going to be quite happy in here. Now they will nibble on the leaf litter and have a bit of a munch. So I will replace this often. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with how this little thing turned out. How their enclosure turned out. So they get dog biscuits, cat biscuits, fish food, uh, fish pellets, carrot, you know. So I tend to give them a mix of dry and a mix of something with a bit of moisture in. And there's their home. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.